Yeah. Penny for the blind! 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 Help a blind man. Okay, here you are.
You must decide between your past and others' future, friend. Decide, for soon it will be too late. All right. Well, I'll have to take your word for it. Hey, mister. Ah, you good, girl? Come on. Whoa, easy. Yeah, yeah.
Okay then, girl. Okay then. Mr. Green. Hey there! How's it I just want to get a drink. I'm parched. Master. Hey, buddy. Can I get a buck, mister? Hey, fellas. You done enough harm here. Good day so far? Mm-hmm. Mister? I'm just in a friendly mood today for some reason. Good. Anyway, guess I'll be on my that way. Watch your back hell. now. I care. You said it. Good to have you back, mister. Hello. Hello, mister. What'll it be, then? I'll have, uh, whatever you like. This'll coat your throat. Getting so a man can't get a goddamn break in this town no more. Not a damn one. A fella I know got kicked to death by a horse. You believe that? I got a question for you. I'm looking for a buddy of mine. Good fella, likes hey, a Dad. whiskey now and again. Haven't seen him in a little while, and his wife's banging on my door saying he never came home. Can't explain it. He just lives across the road. Get me a bit worried. Hello, sir. We got enough trouble without you feeding the flames again, all right? I ain't looking for trouble, I assure you. Mm-hmm. Keep talking like that, and I will be, okay? Keep flapping them gums. Hey there. Howdy. Good to see Manners ain't dead yet. Thank you. Hey, mister. 
You goddamn idiot. You got a problem, pal? Hey, you looking to get your hide hung? It's all good. Calm down. How do you do? Hey, mister. Hi there, mister. I'm good, girl. There he is. Hello, Arthur. <clears throat> oh, hi, Bill. Taylor, yeah, there, I'm here. That's a lot of meat. You're too well, smart to spend the rest of your life robbing banks. What do you think America is? America? Well, I don't know what you mean. Oh, I've been reading Mr. Miller again. Ah. It's my weakness. What do you think America is? I get you. Well, it's like you said. America's a club. But it should be? An idea. Did I teach you that? You taught me the phrasing, but... My dad had taught the ideas almost before I could speak. <sighs> Weren't no fun being an educated Negro for him. No. No, I don't imagine that it was. I always get the feeling he was a great man, your Paul. Not great, just normal and good. <laughs> I sure turned out different. Now, here's what I'm thinking. Maybe those of us that still believe in the ideas of America? Maybe we're the true Americans. And those buffoons in their clubs, they're the traitors. Huh. Well, maybe. Only problem, Dutch, is we don't make the rule. They do. Yeah, that is a problem, isn't it? That thing's almost as big and dumb as you, Morgan. Ah, Lenny. Hello, Arthur. You okay? That is a good size. Well done. Kieran, Kieran. Ooh, that's a monster. Pearson. Okay, Mr. Morgan. Thank you for all your work. Of course, Mr. Morgan. Thank you, Arthur. This camp could do with a few improvements. Why don't you take a look at my ideas? Thank you, Mr. Pearson.
Hey. Hey, Arthur. Hi, Sean. You wanna sit, Morgan? Having a rest there, are you? And boy, have I earned it. Hi there, folks. Hello. Hello, Arthur. How did we end up over this way? Huh? Well, I guess we know the answer to that. All right, Arthur. John behaving himself? I suppose. Why? Just checking. Didn't mean nothing by it. Yeah, goodbye. Hey, Uncle. Good fire going here, Arthur. Yes, you see, we all have our duties. I'll stick to bookkeeping. Pearson. Hello. Don't you ever get fed up with all this? Sometimes, I suppose. All right. Hey. This is everything. The whole world is in a smile, Arthur. <laughs> Remember that. Morphine. Weak. Not ill. Weak. Repellent. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Okay. Get lost. You know, Miss Grimshaw, I bet you were a tiger. In your day. Bye now. Get up, Reverend. Micah. Hello, Arthur. You got a guilty look. What are you talking about? Hey, Lenny. Arthur. Hey. Hey. the university send you? Excuse me? Because if they did, they can get lost. <laughs> I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laughed at, balderdash. What are you doing? Are you quite certain you're not a spy? 
A spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. What theories? I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis? Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. If you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Burwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir. Good luck. I'll keep my eye out for you. <laughs> Let's get here. Good girl. You done good, girl. Can I get five minutes without a fan badgering me? Hey. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Hello, chum. Chum? Do you want an autograph or a photograph? I'm sorry? People often get nervous, but there's really no need to. I, I'm just a, just a normal guy who, well, happens to be very famous. Okay. Who are you? Jeremy Gill. Who? The famous fisherman. I've written a lot of books. I'm in the newspaper all the time. Here's one from the New Hanover Gazette from a few years back. And this is a book I wrote. Huh? I wrote it. Good for you. You really don't know who I am? Ah. Oh, well. <sighs> nice to meet you. You too. Arthur. Sure you don't want a photo? Uh, not right now. Oh. You know, mothers, they often offer me their daughters. Just for a photograph? <laughs> no! To marry. 
But I say no. I'm married to the fish. Huh. So, you're famous for fishing? Very. And that pays well? Uh, pretty well. What I mostly do is send fans stuffed fish. Stuffed fish? Yeah. Here, let me show you. Come with me. <laughs> and you're selling these? Yes. How many do you want? If you get three, we could do a photograph. Together, like actual friends. No, I'm fine. It's, it's sort of ridiculous. Listen, jump. People love it. And I could sell even more fish if I add them. <laughs> it helps them to know that out there, there's some man fighting with Neptune on a daily basis and winning. Okay. But I can't catch enough of them. And there's really good money in this. I fish a little. You do? Well, in that case, send them to me. Uh, of course, uh, not if they're too rotten. Do you like that bass? I'd sell this for $50. I'd give you 15 Send you fish. Ooh, my card and a map. Well, maybe I shall. <laughs> Only the decent ones. They have to be at least 24 inches in length and 10 pounds in weight. No one wants to imagine Jeremy Gill catching a tiddler. There's no money in tiddlers. So I hear. All right, girl. Yeah. There, girl. Yeah, that's my girl. Snake bite, fella? Again? You won't believe it. I got bitten again. It's real deep. Suck it out of You're me. You're damn please. lucky I have this. I can't believe I don't carry this with me. so much, mister. I can't believe you saved my life twice. Me neither. Well, I best be getting back to town. Gonna eat a stiff one tonight. That's it. You ain't getting another out. Well, you're good at recovering, at least. Nothing to worry about. Come on, girl. Yeah. Easy there.
good girl. You doing good girl. That's a good girl. Hey, partner. Makes you a heart.
That's it. Easy now. You there? Oh, hello? You a bounty hunter? Well, not right now, I ain't. You Black Bell? I'd like to talk to you about your Wild West days. I don't care much for reminiscing. You got any friends as bounty hunters? None that spring to mind. Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. Ah, those bounty hunters. Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. Well, get inside. I'll tell them you're gone. Oh, no, no. I ain't hiding from them scalp hunters. Not running from them neither. And fighting? Yeah, if it's just me against Sam, <laughs> that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerin. Well, let me know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? Yes, I do. All right. Get up here quick. Now, when I give you the word, hit that. Whole place is wired. Black Bell, I got a contract here for your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, mister. Come here, let me take a look at it. Count! It's your contract! Drop that Beat 
Chasing it. <laughs> Is that the last of them? Yeah. You got them scalp hunters off your back. Uh, for now. For now. So, you gonna tell me about your Wild West days? Running with Jim Boy Calloway? Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight. And that's about the end of it. Well, a man's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say. But, uh, don't get what's famous confused with what's true. The ones of us that lived that life, we was too busy being scared for our scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. Well, what were they like then? Those days they all talk about. <sighs> Same as now, I guess. Only longer ago. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna need your picture, too, if it ain't a trouble. No, sir, no trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. <laughs> Hell, great. Well, you stand over there and... Oh, let me get this thing ready. Uh, ready? How do you want me? Like this? Okay, I got it. Then I guess I'll be on my way. There. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Bell. You gonna be all right? Oh, been running for 20 years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Hey there. What are you two pieces of sh shit doing in this stuff? Get off her, now! You 
son what of a bitch! Hell? I think you should get out of here, ma'am. I'm good. Hey, partner. Nah. Howdy, fellas. Morning, pal. Mister. Everything okay? Oh, yeah. shit. Hey, friend. Morning, fellas. No. Bertram, say no. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Friends for life, we said. And now the two of you have betrayed me at once. Do you know what betrayal means, Bertram? No. It means hurting Miss Marjorie. Why, well, I thought you liked me. I've clothed you. I fed you. Bertram does like Miss Marjorie. Yes, and Miss Marjorie likes Bertram. So why don't you go and tell me where that nasty little Magnifico has run off to so I can get on with whipping that snot nose run into shape? He owes me. He owes us. Big time. Bertram and Marjorie. Wouldn't Bertram like a sherry? Bertram, like Sherry. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> Barkeep, Sherry. Make it the cheapest one you have. Rat piss will do. His pretty dance. Everything okay? Imagine saving people, Go taking on. them to your breast, and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well, uh... Treachery! And these are sad, low, unlovable people, and I made them stars, dreamers, entertainers, and they... Oh, no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little <coughs> tiny magician has gone and stabbed his mom on the back. <coughs> oh, fuck it, he. <coughs> no, Bertram, 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 woof, woof. Bertram, put the nice man down. Do something, you only eat him. Um, uh, e e easy there. Uh, easy there. Sherry. Bertram. Easy, big guy. Ah. No fair! <gasps> Ouchie! No. Easy, boy! Cut that out! Bad, Bertram! <clears throat> Your head's gonna <clears throat> pop off! <clears throat> ah. Me! You gonna behave? No? <clears throat> I'm wasting my time. Come here, Bertram. <clears throat> Marjorie's here. No one's gonna hurt you ever again. Mama, you should keep that thing in a cage. You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry, we'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico, hmm? But he's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's gonna make it all better. But first, you gotta tell me where that little worm ran off to, hmm? Huh? Bertram promise. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise, too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract, and he broke it. So, you just tell me exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> you gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram likes sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram. Howdy. Hey there. How you doing? It's been pretty bad. Morning, dear. Morning. Hit me. Good luck. Place your bets. I think it's time to start working in rows. That's about right. Okay, no more bets. Let's get started. Uh, I ain't got Money. much. A fifteen. I will. Double. Fifteen. Huh. Ain't none of these boys ever even heard of Five. Uh, a fifteen. Yeah. Eighteen. Right. Right. Damn this shit. Hmm. Well. I gotta get out of this. <sighs> Thank you, I guess. Give me your bet. Uh, you, mister, right, excuse me. Right. How does it close? You know when you have one of those days? Mind. That's what I heard. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Bye now. Hey, mister. All right, stranger. I like you, mister. You have a kind face. Well, good luck to you. See you later. Hey, mister. Morning. Hey, you know if any I Pinkertons like have been seen around here? Don't know. No problem. Thank you. Bye now. Howdy. Good morning, sir. Whew, sure is some hard country around these parts. Well, good luck to you. Bye then. Let's go, girl. Hey there. Hi there, mister. in here and don't for one second think I'm taking my eyes off you no good thief have a look around see what you might need sure let's take a look then hmm don't need to know where you got this don't go mishandling that now thanks I just hope nobody's missing this too much. Okay, there. Open the register right now. You right. sure? Ain't good enough. Hello. What the hell is the matter with you? What in the hell? Scoot, girl. I'm gonna enjoy robbing you, tough guy. Hand it over. What the hell? Wait, now, come on. Piece of shit. Now, god damn it. Get a move on. 
Come on. No. Goddamn warned you. Good girl. Mister? Fool. It's all good. Calm down. Mister? Morning, Very partner. Well, Looks Looks like you hard know. work. I heard it's cool. Hey, mister. Morning. Hey! Hey, you! Come here a minute. What do you need? Oh. Oh. Uh... Thanks for stopping, sir. Thank you. Um, Percy Whitsickle, Central Union Railroad Company. Maybe you can help me. One of my... One of my... One of my workers has been stealing wages. Three weeks running. I have searched everyone and everywhere ten times over. Of course, no one is talking the way they look at me. What's all this got to do with me? Oh, uh, I just, I think I need someone a little more neutral, a little more persuasive, and, and, and you look like you're a, you know, and I got to watch the camp, so could you see what you could sniff out? I'll pay you for your efforts, of course. Yeah, I got it. What exactly is it you want me to do? Find the thief and recover the money. And give him his marching orders. I'm not one for matters of personnel. Look for anyone 
Sneaking off the line. They've got to be stashing it away from camp somewhere. Well, can you help me? My head is on the block here. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Thank you. We offer you Otis work for Otis pay, and you steal from us. It's disgusting. Come on. Come on. What are you doing over here? What are you doing? Uh, hey there, partner. People say Hello. a criminal escaped from jail. Where are all town tied up in a rope they captured him? No complaining. Just get the job done. And if you're gonna talk, talk English! All right, I gotta go for a piss. Y'all keep at it. I'll hear it if you don't. Okay, there. Fine morning. Morning. Oh, what are you doing here? Doing your friend Percy a little favor. He says one of the workers has been stealing. I reckon I just found him. Stealing? <laughs> what? I, I'm the junior foreman here. It, it's them Orientals you want to speak to. You ready to return that money you stole? Okay, okay. All right, all right. I'm leaving. The money is in the tree. Just... Please don't kill me. Turn it into a bad day for you, mister. Please, let me go. Help! I promise I'll leave. This is... Uh... Very kind of you. Why me? We're going for a walk. Come on, let me go. God help! Tie me up. What are you gonna do to me? You got a problem? I caught him stealing money from Sweet the camp. Jesus. Taking him back to the foreman. Really? Okay. Excuse then. me, partner. Your colleague here thought he was entitled to a bonus. 
I got your money. Randall? I don't believe it. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Thank you for your help, partner. Here. For your trouble. Come on, girl. Yeah. you can sit a while. Oh, I sure do appreciate this. You, 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 you won't even know I'm here. Oh, I got myself rightly turned around out here. Yeah, is it two days or, or more? <laughs> Oh, Jerry Ann guzzled up all the chitterlings, so I go out hunting squirrels. Only Esther still got my damn warm britches. And I got poor circulation, even at the best of times. So, oh, November, my feet, they always turn brown. <laughs> so I glug some shine to keep myself warm. <laughs> On a riverbank, shivering like a shitting dog. <laughs> I get lost real easy. You ever heard of a place called Butcher Creek, mister? Our entire village has been marked by the demon stealing our bodies and our minds. And we have all been cursed, and ain't nothing we can do but just wait our time. Wait. Why are you looking at me like that? Now, I don't know if I like you, mister. You got the same look my uncle has. I'll take my chances. You stay away from me! Welcome back, mister. Very good. More? Okay. One more? No problem. Done deal. Enjoy.
things over there by you. Good, good. Oh, that's real Madam. good. Okay, bye. Hello, that Don't Madam. catch fish without my fine product, nope. <laughs> Oh, look, set. Come here. Damn, that's you. All right. I'm keeping you, I'm afraid. Yeah, that's my girl. Hi there, 
mister. Hi there. Anything anyone can give me, please help me. Please. You. Yes. Please. Coin, please. Go get please. yourself something to eat. A coin? Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. Groveling here in the dirt. <sighs> hey there, partner. Hello. Hey there. Hey there. Hello, gentlemen. Hello. Hello, sir. Please, take a seat. Got an idea of what you want? Hmm, I say you look ready for a portrait now. Please, tell your friends about us. All right, you know where Howdy. I am. Howdy, friend. Hello, ladies. <laughs> Hello, mister. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Listen. How you doing? Listen to me, friends. What's this wrong book, with you? This precious tome, this passport to earthly paradise, I have written it for you so that you can be like me, a rich, happy, successful Hello. man who is now dedicating Why his don't you life leave me alone? To Hello, sir. The to help yes, hey, I'm mister. Damn it. Mister. Uh. Hey there. Hey, mister. Hey there, mister. Welcome. How do you do? What's to send? Hey, friend. Saludos. Uh, you, mister, excuse me. Hey, mister. Hello. Want a paper? See ya. Hello, sir. Come, please Hello. take a pamphlet. It might just change your life. I want you to ask yourself, do I consider myself pure? And then I want you to ask yourself, what is the most disgusting, revolting, vulgar, and depressing thing in all creation? Mingling. Co-mingling. Nature. Nature likes purity. Nature does not like co-mingling. Nature likes a family tree, not a family bush. And this being America, and us being nature's paradise on Earth, we must push for purity. I want you, I need you, to be pure. Hey, partner. Hello there. You, sir, do you want a pamphlet? Okay. Read it. 
It's really interesting stuff. I explain, using real science, why we whites are under attack. And what we must do to fight back. Under attack? Yes, under attack. People aren't the same, sir. I mean, white people are the same. And all the other races are trying to kill us. I don't want to die, sir. I got friends who's Mexican, friends who's Indian. I've known blacks, Irish, Italians, good and bad and all. I've known good white people and bad white people. And above all, <clears throat> dumb white people. You, sir, are a real fool. How can you possibly believe in equality? I've never heard such nonsense in all my natural born days. This man believes people are equal. Speak for yourself, sir. Speak for yourself. I'm sorry. You just call me a fool? A fool! A fool! A fool! Come here! Oh no! I'll put you on the floor. Hey, kitty. Stay. Been witness to strange things. Same old story for me. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Not here to turn yourself in, so I conclude you're a bounty hunter. May I direct you to the poster on the wall there? Okay, Chief. You going after Lindsay Waffles? I might be. Or I might just want to hang his poster up on my wall. Yeah, they're a bad lot, the Lamont Raiders. Stupid fellas won't leave good enough alone. We'll One of these days, the government's you know. gonna get sick of private Thank militias, you, you know. One of these days, the government's gonna get sick of all of us. Don't tell them I said that. The bounty. Why are you making this feather someone else's problem? We, sir, are an urban police force. And the Raiders are, well, mostly a rural nuisance. My men simply are not suited for this kind of work. This feller in particular, Wofford, ain't it? Why him? You cut off the head, the body dies. That's the hypothesis, at least. We shall see if it can be demonstrated with the Lamoine Raiders. If the bounties for this whole outfit, you should have made it more. If that's all, I'll get after him. Remember, they forfeited their right to life as well as liberty. How's life by you? Hello, sirs. Hola, Sarah. What's new? Okay, girl. Evening, mister. Hey, partner. Please begin. What's wrong? Hey there. Good evening, partner. Hey there, mister. Mister. Good evening, mister. Hey there!
Get to running, friend. He'll be looking for you. You done good, girl. Lindsay Wofford, I got here a warrant for your arrest, or... Lindsay's down! Don't let him take him away! You done good, girl. Good girl. Good girl. There 
I believe this body's worth something. Well, now, so much for them boys being the care of the South. <laughs> Drop that raid in the cart out back. Come around for your bounty. I'll make good on my promises. Here's your payment. Looks right. See you there. Give me a minute, please. Uh, you know. uh, hello. What do you need? Thanks. Mais quelle délicieuse surprise! How do you do, sir? C'est scandaleux. Bonjour. Hello, mister. How do you do? Uh, wh what can I do for you? Smells good. Tastes better. Morning. Morning, friend. Oh. Yep. 
Seem real perceptive for a blind man. Oh, who said that? You really blind? If you lie to me again, I'll shoot you dead. Okay, okay, I ain't really blind. Just take it easy. Well, I've killed men for less, you know. Whoa, hey, just a few Get up. <laughs> That's it. Hey, partner. Hey there, mister. Fine morning, partner. Yeah. Okay. Morning, officer. Hi, Bill. Hey. Hello. Always good to see you. Morning, Arthur. Hi, Karen. Morning. morning. Hey, Jack. You okay? I'm bored. Well, go find some mischief to get up to. Uh-huh. Here, I hadn't forgotten about that storybook you lost. Thanks so much, Uncle Arthur. Do you want to have this? I found it near camp. Sure. Thanks, Jack. Sean. You join us here, Morgan? You gonna help out? You ever think here? about going back to Jesus. Mexico? You never know, do you? At least not for now. <clears throat> it's a long story. I'd like to go there one day. Hey, Javier. You joining us? Morning, dear. Good morning, Arthur. There she is. Good morning. There he is. Well, how are you? Morning, dear. Good morning, Arthur.
use a slug of whiskey in this. Maybe after lunch, hey? Mr. Squaler. There's room here. You want to sit? Best dressed man in camp. Here we go. Hey, just paying you a compliment. Okay, then. Hey, folks. Hello. Spot here for you if you want. Loudmouth McGuire. Had a couple of snifters, have you? Hey. You know I love you, really. All right. You're one of the nice ones. <laughs> Had a couple of drinks, Arthur. Can't a feller pay a compliment no more? Sure. It sure would be boring around here without you. You must have had a drink. We're well, just trying to be nice. All right, Arthur. Hey, Dutch. Arthur. We are back on top. Are you drunk? Just feeling good about things, finally. All right, Arthur. Lenny! Hey. I like you. Ho, ho, ho. You've been drinking. And I don't like many people. Sure, Arthur. <laughs>